in this world of digital marketing, we know how important YouTube videos have become. Because YouTube videos are often used as an example of how to do something, adding a YouTube video to your post would give people a clear example of what they should be doing. YouTube videos are an effective way to draw attention to your posts and attract more people to read your content. Adding a video to a post makes it much easier for readers to watch the video and see what your post is all about. This SOP will show you how you can go ahead and add a YouTube video directly into your WordPress post. And trust me, this is the easiest way to do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see how you can add a YouTube video to your WordPress blog post. So in order to add a YouTube video to your WordPress blog post, you will first have to upload the said YouTube video to your YouTube channel. And if you're new to YouTube, you should know how to upload it, right? So I'm just going to show you the very simple process of uploading a YouTube, uploading a video to your YouTube channel, essentially. All right. So the first thing that you have to do is log into your YouTube channel and um, anywhere you go, your homepage, your suggested videos page, you will find a channel I can write here, a camera I can write here with a plus sign inside of it. So all you have to do is click on that right here and it will it'll start showing create right when you hover your cursor. So I'll just click on that and we have to click on upload video from here. All right. You will be redirected to this particular upload videos page where you just have to browse and select the file that you have that you have to or want to upload on your YouTube channel. So let's see, um, I'll go ahead and I'll just upload any one of the SOP videos that I think I can upload right here. All right, let's go ahead with this. Yep, how to install a new theme on your WordPress website. So the titles, title has already come. You can give it a very nice, description over here you can add uh, the links to your social media to your website anything and everything you want it's up to you how you want it to look like you can upload a thumbnail a customized thumbnail if you don't have a customized thumbnail youtube will suggest a few pictures uh, from the video itself and you can choose those uh, pictures as thumbnails you can select a playlist from here and you can just go next, 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 and you'll be good to go. You would have uploaded a video on your YouTube channel. You did not focus a lot on the other aspects right now if you are a beginner. And the visibility is right here. Private means it's only and only shown to you. Unlisted video means that anyone with this particular video link will be able to watch the video and no one else can watch it. And public means it's open to public. Everyone can see it. I'm just going to upload it as unlisted for now. And I will. And if, of course, you don't wish to upload it as public, the suggestion here is that you upload it as unlisted and not private, because if it is private, no one else would be able to see it on your blog post. However, if it is unlisted, they would be able to see it. So make sure that you take a note of that. All right. However, if you do want to focus on the other aspects, let me just show you one of the previous or the most recent videos that I uploaded and what goes uh, behind the videos, the editing that I do uh, when it's uploaded on YouTube. Right. So when you're doing that, of course, you have your description right here. I have uploaded a customized thumbnail. But as I said, you can get pictures from the video itself. So you can do that. Um, over here, you can add an end screen. So I'll click on that. And I already have an end screen. However, you will have a few options. Um, this is the end screen that is going to appear by the end of your video. And you can just choose one, choose a video for your viewer to watch next, and you'll be good to go. And of course, you then have cards, which means the video suggestions, like so. Over here, can you see? how to create a primary menu. So I have two cards in this particular video. So what this does is anytime if you are mentioning, if you are mentioning something of another video that you have uploaded, you can add that particular video's card right here. And you just have to click on this plus sign from here where my cursor is. So if you click on that plus sign, you will get options to either add a video, a playlist from your channel, 
or the link to your channel itself. So it's up to you what you want to add. And you just click on save and you'll be good to go. Now, um, of course, you have your playlist section if you want to add it to a particular playlist and done. And yeah, you can add a few tags if you want, a few tags that you want to target. And I don't think anything else is of that much importance right now. As a beginner, you can just focus on these things. And yes, let's let's get into the main video now. How can you add this particular video to a blog post? All right, so I just have to log into my WordPress dashboard. So your domain name slash WP dash admin, and you will be redirected to your WordPress dashboard. Now, since we have to add our YouTube video to a particular blog post, all we have to do is find posts from our left sidebar and we will go to all posts from right here. And we will be adding a new post, which we can see from here. So we'll add this new post. And of course, you need some content, right? So I have a content copy pasted, the very recent video that I uploaded regarding categories and I can do all the editing later that I want. All right, so I have edited um, the content and just pasted it right here. Now the um, very important step, the main part of the video where you have to add the YouTube video to this particular blog post. So just go to the video that you want to put in your blog post. So let me just do that. I will go back to the video. So this is the video that I want to add to my blog post. Now, as you can see, I, we have the like button, the dislike button, the share button. So we have to click on share from here and copy the particular YouTube video link. There's another way to copy it as well. Once you have uploaded this particular video, and when you go to the content, so this is the video, right? You'll find these three dots, the options dots right here. So if you can just click on that, you will get the shareable link from right here. And this is in your content page on your YouTube channel. So just get the shareable link from here or just copy and paste it from the YouTube video itself come back to your blog post and wherever you want to add the YouTube video, click over there, all right? For example, if you want to, if you want it to appear right here, you can click over here. If you want it, if you want it to appear over here, for example, enter up over here, for example, you can put it over here. I want it to appear just before I start talking about the Learn Today channel. So I'm gonna click here, right click and just Paste. So you can command or control V as well. All right. So now that I have pasted it, as you can see, the YouTube video starts appearing and it is that simple. This is the easiest way that you can do this, right? So the content is right here and in between we have the video. Now you can put this particular post under a category if you want. Let's see, where are the categories? All right, so I can put this under blogging. And yes, I think I think that's good. I'll just add a title. Add categories to your menu. And yeah, let's go ahead and hit on publish. Okay, that's done. Let's take a look at how this post is looking like and if our YouTube video is visible or not, all right? So we can preview the changes from right here. Awesome. As you can see, I still have some spacing to do, um, but overall our work here is successful. We have successfully added a YouTube video to our WordPress blog post. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this was helpful to you all. Go ahead and hit on that subscribe button along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos. 
if you have any suggestions or any feedback, any questions, any queries about WordPress, you can go ahead and you can put them in the comment section down below. This is Jaswin Valia and I will see you in our next SOP.